Welcome back to Small Luxury Lifestyle. My name is Olive. My hubby Frenchie is not with us today. He is on his way to work. Actually, he's probably already at work. So I figured I would whip up one of his favorite desserts, which is a chocolate chip banana bread. Hopefully I can get this done before I have to log on for work. Um, this recipe has no eggs, so if you are vegan, it's perfect. So what I'll do, I'll show you all the ingredients and then we'll get to work. Okay, so we are going to have one and three quarters cup of unbleached flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, two teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon of cinnamon, three quarters cup of the raw sugar, three very, very, very ripe bananas, and we'll be throwing in a cup of chocolate chips. Oh, and we shouldn't forget, over there in the pot is half a cup of melted butter, which has been cooling. Okay, so we start off with uh, the dry ingredients. So this bowl will have the unbleached flour, so we'll add the salt, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, the one teaspoon of cinnamon, that has a really nice flavor, and the three quarters cup of the raw sugar. All we're gonna do is just combine all the dry ingredients and set that aside then we will take our bananas so we're just going to mash the bananas usually i use frozen bananas um and when i take them out of the freezer and take them out of the skin there's usually a lot of liquid. Um, so this time I'm just using unfrozen bananas, so it's not as wet as it normally is. Okay, I'm gonna add the two teaspoons of vanilla. And half a cup of melted butter, which has been cooled. And we just want to combine this and you know what actually let's add the chocolate chips to the dry ingredients okay so I'm gonna and these are the semi-sweet so I'm just gonna add it to the dry ingredients so simple so like I had mentioned um, this recipe has um, no eggs if you wanted this to be vegan you can just uh, switch out the butter maybe use like a coconut oil um, and then if you're gluten uh, sensitive then maybe switch out the flour to maybe an almond flour um, almond flour and for the pan what I did was take a pastry brush and um, dip it in the melted butter and brush the bottom of the pan and then I put some parchment paper um, in it. Okay, so now we are going to take the wet ingredients and fold it into the dry ingredients. Let's get all this goodness out. And I'm going to be using, um, we have a microwave convection oven, so, um, and then a regular propane oven, but I'm going to be using the convection oven. I'm going to be, 
preheating it to 325. This will be baking for uh, 50 minutes, so five zero. made a little bit of mess, but that's okay. I'll just spread it out. Oh yeah, doesn't that look good? And this is the finished product. Well, I didn't actually get to finish recording this because I had to log in for work. But what you want to do is let this cool for 10 minutes in the pan and then take it out and let it finish cooling on the cooling rack. And this is what we end up with. Moist, rich, and decadent. You can tell our favorite add-ons are chocolate chips, but I'd love to know what your favorite add-ons are. Please share them below in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and I'll see you soon.